Good evening, or good morning, or good day, or wherever you are, whatever time it is. Hello. Quick video today, probably not, probably going to be a long one, because I babble on. But, not babble on, as in babble on 5, as in I babble on, like I'm doing now. Anyway, I'm going to show you the uh, screen differences in the uh, new Nexus 4 there. haven't done an unboxing for this, because I had to unbox it pretty quickly, because I was going out. So uh, I didn't really have a chance to, but, oh well. So I'm going to show you some screen differences. I've downloaded the same images on each of them. I'll show you. I'm going to put them both in full brightness. And what I'm going to do over here on the Galaxy S3 is I'm going to show you that the display is on standard because obviously on the um, GS3 you can choose your screen mode, dynamic, standard, natural or movie. So it's going to be on standard. And we're going to get the brightness up to full. All that brightness off and then it's going to go up to full. And then the same over on the LG Nexus 4. Did I say Galaxy Nexus at the start? I meant Nexus 4. Whatever I said. This is it, anyway. So let's get straight into it. So you can go to here, and we'll go to here. And the first, let me actually quickly see if this looks any better in the dark. Hmm. Okay, well, I will keep it in the light for now. Okay, let's go on this image first. Um, most of these are in 1080p. I think this, the third one I'm going to show you won't be in 1080p. I think this is um, 1280. This is 720p. This this one here. But the rest of them are 1080. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so let's. Uh, difference in screen technology here. We've got a Samsung Galaxy S3 has a Super AMOLED HD display, 1280 by 720 resolution. On the LG Nexus 4, it's a super IPS LCD display at um, 1280 by 768 pixels. So, pixel density on here is about 306, I think, something like that. And then here is about 320. Um, 4.8 inch display here and 4.7 inch display here, so slightly smaller. And you can see the uh, you can see the difference there. If I zoom in, get them as close as I can. You can see the colour differences, it's a lot warmer over here than it is here, it's more cool, it's a more cool image, not cool as in, oh sweet. Ok we'll zoom in so we get the eye filling up the entire display. You can see there, zoom out a bit for you, you can see, obviously you make up your own minds which one you think looks more true to life. Um, Obviously, I think the LG Nexus 4 looks more realistic. They're both very nice. They both look really nice. Um, on the camera, this is the Galaxy S3 shows a sort of pinkish hue. You don't actually have that. I can't actually see that in real life. You can, I can sort of see that through the camera. That will transpire in your screens or not. But it's not that pink, trust me. Let's go to the next image. Yeah, this is the this is the uh, 720p one, I believe. There you can you can see. I'll show you up. Uh, a close up, really nice, really crisp. Um, you can see as much of the greens are a lot greener here, much more vibrant. But again, here it looks more crisp, it looks nicer, it looks more true to life. Both do a pretty good job, both do a very good job actually. This next one, you can see straight away the differences in the sky, especially. This is the Burj Al Arab, I think it's called, in Dubai. You can see the sky there is not it's quite purpley near the centre, purpley pinkish near the sea level. And then here it's much more blue. And then it gets more orange down towards the bottom of the picture. Galaxy S3 screen is timing out quite a lot for some reason. Anyway, we carry on. Ah, now this image is quite a vibrant one, you can see. I'll show you the Galaxy S3 first. You can see how punchy the reds and the greens and the blues are. Really, um, really saturated colours. Really high contrast levels. And then here again, more natural, much more pleasing on the eye tone. Looks much more true to life. We go to the next one, which is this lovely landscape here. And again. Much more vibrant. The green of the grass is very vibrant. The uh, the clouds in the sky look quite quite greyish on this AMOLED display. 
And then over here, the clouds look much more white. Um, green looks much more lifelike. And the mountains in the background don't look as washed out as they do over here. This is a sunset image. And you can see straight away how much more orange the sun is here than it is here. Um, I'm going to do a I'll zoom in on this water here. And again here. You can see much more blown out, overexposed looking on the Galaxy S3. Both look very nice though still. And that's it for the pictures. And I actually have got some uh, videos loaded up on YouTube. So we'll play them, try and play them at the same time. Galaxy S3 started a little bit quicker. You can see. Looks really nice on the Galaxy S3. Colours look good. Here, a lot less punchy, but looks a lot more realistic. And the screen looks, it just looks a lot nicer, I think, the, um, the Nexus 4. The screen just looks nicer to me. Anyway, actually, I'll quickly show you some viewing angles on the Galaxy S3. If we turn it up this way, you can see, you can pretty much see until about there you get a pink hue come across the screen and then from sort of there onwards it's pretty much it's unreadable and then on the LG Nexus 4 so you don't get any hue, you don't get any colour changing, it's just you can pretty much see that all the way to almost 180 degrees which is very good from the top it's pretty much the same story on the Galaxy S3 from the top Yeah, it's better from the top, you don't get as much, but you still get this purple hue coming in. But anyway, that's a quick um, showing of the two displays. Um, thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks very much. Please subscribe if you want to, if you don't, whatever. But anyway, thanks for watching. There'll be more videos on the Nexus 4. I'll compare it with the screen on the um, HTC AX and do some speed tests and other stuff in the future. But uh, for now, thank you for watching. See you later.